Previously on AI the Somnium Files. Is really based on the Egyptian goddess Isis. So Isis and Iris are connected. Yeah. And Isis sounded like Aced in ancient Egyptian, which is where your stage name comes from. That's right. There's a very complicated reason behind that. Why couldn't it have just been like, I like the name Aced because it's got the word ass in it or something. And now back to AI the Horny Guy. AI the Horny Guy. <laughs> Hey, I'm a horny guy. Boobies rule. Hey, I'm a horny guy. Would you like to touch my man's nut? Boo, 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 boo. Hey, I'm the horny guy. Herbie Dante incoming. Hey, I'm a horny guy. Hello! Sneaky B. Back with some more AI the Somnium Files. When we last left off, we reached the Iris ending, which uh, I'm thinking maybe just leaves us with the two endings, or maybe there's three endings now. So where, wherever this goes, that's probably gonna lock this one. And then maybe there's like a true ending, but I don't know if the true ending is like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how the true ending is gonna work here exactly. If there is one, unless it really branches off from one of these. I mean, it's it's kind of hard for me to believe that this one, where literally everyone dies, is the true ending of the game. But I kind of think it might extend from, like, maybe one of the endings we've already gotten up to this point that's not as morbid. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, uh... I'm just overall with with this side. I it's just it's just been such a mixed bag for me, you know. It had its moments, and I actually did think that the the end with Iris was genuinely was was sad, you know. I felt, I did feel a little bit of something, but it just didn't feel earned, in my opinion, you know. Like I feel like I just didn't feel super invested because in the end, even with the the revelations about Iris, right? So that she's got this tumor, and that's like maybe affecting her and making her believe things that aren't really true right it still doesn't really make me like her character like i feel bad for her but it's like it didn't make up for what i feel like this route has been to me so far which has just been a, a bit all over the place i did see a number of you guys talk about the nice lots thing was apparently something that was covered quite a bit in the promotional material of the game so it wasn't like it was something that completely came out of nowhere but my argument to that is that a plot point is a plot point, and it, I feel like a game shouldn't expect you to have to look up some additional forms of media to get the most out of its story, right? I feel like in, in order for a story to be the most impactful, it should be self-contained. In a lot of ways, this is like sort of the problem with, for example, like Final Fantasy 15, where you had to basically, in order to get the full plot of the movie and to really give a shit about some of the characters, you kind of had to go see additional stuff like the movie and I think there was maybe even like a visual novel or a, a like a comic or something I don't know there's just like a whole bunch of stuff you had to watch in order to actually understand fully what the hell was going on in the game and I don't like that I don't think it's a really great way of telling a story hell even with Kingdom Hearts and how fucking crazy that plot gets each the games do pretty much cover all the points like I've managed to get the majority of those stories through their games, right? I might hear other people talk about it in analysis videos is another thing, but this is the thing you need to understand the story released by the people who made the game and you have to watch that in order for it to actually have the same impact. Uh, that's something else. That's, that's in my opinion, not a good idea. <laughs> it's not great writing. So I don't think it's fair to be like, yeah, if, it would have been so much more impactful, been a uh, feel less out of nowhere if you watched the promotional material, Nico. And it's, that's like a giant chunk of your audience. You're kind of excluding there by doing that. And again, it just feels like this side is like a completely different game from the left side. It's just, it's so bizarre, man. It's so weird. And it's not even just the fact that, oh, yes, we're focusing on Iris here, right? Where this always focus, focus more on Mizuki and Oda. It's just like the the logic on this side is just it's more like a lot of the older Chikoshi stuff, right? Which I know you were like, well, Nico, didn't you like those games? And yes, I did. But the, the problem is the tonal shift, right? It's that this side has a completely different tone than this side. And it, they clash with each other. They don't they don't work well together i'm actually honestly really glad i played the left side before i played the play the right side because i think if i played this side first i completely would have lost it with this game like at the very start i would have gone through this shit and been like this shit is so fucking stupid and i would have not given two shits once i got the left side of here and experienced what i think were actually really great story moments like the like the stuff with oda and miyumi and the stuff with Mizuki. Because I would have just completely lost my interest. And thankfully, that's oh, that's going to be this game's saving grace for me. I think, it, at least it currently is. Is that those are, were so good that it 
helps to make up for it, I think, is just a lackluster other half. Now, that said, I mean, it's not like everything's absolute red hot garbage here. I do like, like I said, I think I've liked every Somnium we've had so far. They are trial and error in a lot of ways, but they have all had, I feel like, good, like, themes to them, right? Um, and I think they're represented well through these, like, dreamlike sequences and how they're all sort of unique and they have, like, basically you got to tackle them in unique and different ways. I do really like that. I liked how you were, like, choosing whether to trust Iris or not in that one route. But then my problem with it, of course, is that the nice a lot thing, right, which involved trusting Iris, uh, it just seems so, like, hard for me to care. I know it, you guys also argued, well, it's there were they were insinuating that perhaps Iris's Somnium actually had an effect on Dante's psyche, which made him believe this completely bullshit story. But it doesn't make it any less of a fucking grind for me as the player to sit through and listen to Dante and everyone just like be like, God damn, Iris is so fucking amazing and the best person ever. God, you know, like everyone's just like coming out here like this weird cult, like gathering around this girl who's clearly got some fucking problems i'm all for sympathizing her for her actual health problems but that doesn't automatically give you a green card for being an interesting and engaging character so even that discovery in the end and seeing that oh well maybe in the end all she wanted was to hang out with you it still is like i still go back and go but did i enjoy those moments with her is that now suddenly make those moments that i found annoying any less annoying and the answer to me is no, <laughs> not really. I did also see some of you guys just say how you're sort of surprised actually that I dislike so many of the, the comedic action sequences as much as I do. Uh, especially since, you know, right, I'm I'm a kind of guy, I like talking about the dumb horny shit, right? So obviously the dumb horny joke stuff, like I that should hit, that should be a home run with me, right? And like, th th that's the thing. So the first one we did, right? Which was the, uh, when we went to the Yaksa office for the first time, we had that sequence. Uh, I actually did think that was funny. I actually laughed at that. I was like, oh, damn, this is fucking crazy. I love it. And I think, honestly, I feel like that one moment right there was probably one of the best ones. And you know why it was one of the best ones? Well, one, I'd only seen that joke once. So it actually was kind of funny. And two, it was, we weren't in a place in the store where something incredibly serious or like life-threatening was happening that it, 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 ended up deterring it or taking it away right it was like in the middle of like some dumb investigation shit so it was a good time to do it but then the problem was they kept hitting that exact same joke again and again and again and it was always the same one it was just like the the porno mag one again and again i think we've had maybe four or five action sequences and they all kind of come back to the same thing and they get so stupid and it's like ridiculous like logic of you know wait till all the guys get in the water we all have guns we're not gonna shoot you it's like I, like i could suspend my disbelief a bit but i have a threshold man all right there's like points where i'm like okay come on like and especially when it's supposed to be before a scene where things are supposed to be getting serious like we're getting to the climax getting to the ending of somebody's story and it's like we're building it up with this bullshit like and ex you expect me to like, give a fuck and in the end even if the sequences themselves didn't happen before in a really important scene it was still just the same joke they were repeating again and again it just got old man and i know that might make some of you go like nico really you're you're gonna criticize someone else for repeating jokes again and again mr horny man miss miss Mr. Bagel Man, Mr. Whatever, right? All the dumb shit I've repeated from a million times. Mr. Yeah, you get it, Professor. Yeah, I know. I know. It's a fair point, all right? And it is a fair point. I'm not saying I'm not a fucking hypocrite in that regard, but I'm also just trying to be honest with you guys. Like, I wish, like, I, I wish I felt that way. I wish I was like, damn, this shit cracked me the fuck up every time. Like, I'm trying to sort through my own feelings and be like, why am I not enjoying that as much? Because, like, that's a decent... That's not a bad argument. Like, Nico, you should like this shit. But I don't. I don't like it. I only liked it... I liked it the first time, and the other times, it just... Like, the second time, I was like, oh, okay, it's kind of the same joke. And the third time, I was like, okay, come on now. And then fourth time, and then the, I think... I think I think we've been through five. Like, five action sequences. And it really, like... Especially this last one, I was so just, like, completely done. I, like, zoned out that whole fucking save iris section because it was just so like it was just so overdone i was just so fucking bored honestly because in the end it just didn't feel like it fucking mattered we're just gonna make a giant joke of it right there wasn't any real like stakes i was so worried that iris is gonna die not that it would have mattered anyway because she's already died like 30 times in this game right 
Like how many times do we come across Iris dead or seemingly dead? After a while, it kind of starts to lose any meaning. <sighs> I don't know, man. I'm sorry. Like the, the thing is, I'm really trying like so hard. Like I listen to you guys. I read everybody's comments and I'm like, trying to see everybody's argument and go, okay, well, let me think about this from their perspective. Cause there's so many of you, so, so many of you who love the living fuck out of this game. You love it so much. And that's why I'm even baffled and saddened by myself for not liking it as much as I should. I feel like I should be, you know, like, I'm like, I want to be one of you guys who feels the same way. And I just, just honestly, I don't. I just don't. It's just with especially this side, all right? I think the left side was honestly overall pretty good. It had some dumb moments. I didn't like Oda getting the drop on Date twice in the same exact way. Um, but they had such strong fucking character moments that I, I'm willing to overlook that. And then this side just, just felt so much weaker in comparison so far. I mean, we still got this side here, but I have one half of a game that I really enjoy, then another half that's just been a bit of a downer. And I and I start to think to myself, well. Nico, is it because you didn't like Iris at the start? Maybe because your own preconceptions? I mean, to be, I'm being straight with you guys. I like that the game didn't go the way I thought it was going to go. I didn't want it to go that way because that would have been really like, uh, for me, right? Maybe fucking hate Iris. I don't hate her. I didn't honestly hate her anyway. I was like, I think I probably would have hated her if she had been a crazy psycho and ended up murdering me. I probably would have ended up hating her character, but it didn't. So I don't hate her character. But I also don't like her character. Like, I don't particularly like or am engaged by what they ended up going with with her. Not like the, some of the other characters. And because she's such a major focus here, it just kind of, I think it's a big reason why I didn't enjoy this. I don't know. I just hope you guys don't fucking absolutely fucking brutally judge me, all right? For not enjoying the game as much as I, I want to, all right? I seriously want to. I want to go into my brain and just like fiddle around with it until this shit is just like the best fucking thing to me. And I don't know if it's because I've, if I changed over the years, would I have liked this four years ago when I was playing the Zero Escape series? Is there any change in that? I don't know. I really don't know. I have no idea. I'd like to think that I would think the same thing as I do now. But maybe I wouldn't. I, it's impossible to know. Maybe I would have liked this game more when it came out and everybody else was excited about it. Or maybe I would have felt the exact same way and gotten even more shit on because everybody loved it except for me. But I do want to stress again, right? That I, will, I, I don't think I'll ever be able to hate this game or even dislike this game, all right? Because these sides were just too strong. But I definitely don't love the game. I just think it's okay right now. But I do want to go back to the mystery. I think that was sort of part of it too was that I feel like this side focused so much less on the actual like main mystery of it all. Like we were trying, to, I feel like we were searching for Renju for fucking ever. And I kept hoping at some point we're going to run into him. I'm hoping we'll run into him over here. I don't know. I guess we will, uh, we will find out. But anyway, last episode, uh, Taco Man 422 said, holding a dead girl and having no fucking clue what's going on. This is really the most zero escape ending. <laughs> I know, right? Now that, that is truly an Ichikoshi ending. If I ever saw one, this girl's dying in my arms and I don't know why. What's happening? Why is there eye missing? What's going on? But uh, thank you, Taco Man, for your hilarious comment. And as for that reason, you are comment of the day. I'm gonna end that one just a little quicker because I've already talked on end. I don't know. It's been interesting. It's interesting how some games, right? Like, I feel like for the most part, we, you guys and me and P the Picky Penguins in general, right? Like, we tend to sort of agree on a lot of things about like how we feel about certain games. And I, I don't know, I think maybe a lot of it also has to do with just simply like my own excitement level, right? Like if I end up really like loving something that makes it, I think, more enjoyable for you guys a lot of times. Maybe even if you weren't normally, if you played it yourself, you wouldn't have been as excited about it. So it's always, uh, I don't know, I feel like I'm fortunate, but it does happen sometimes when we come across a game where I feel like there's like a, this divide, right? You know, like this, this split down the middle about either parts of the story or even maybe how I tackle the let's play. Like for example, Steins Gate Zero, right? We had a 50-50 fucking poll where people wanted me to turn the voices off or leave the voices on. And that's like, fuck dude, no matter what I do, it's gonna it disappoint a good half of my freaking uh, viewers. I mean, I think it's like the, the double-edged sword of let's plays, right? Is, is that you, get, you do hopefully see somebody's honest opinion about how they're feeling about a game. Um, and that is, for better and for worse, right? Like, I'm gonna sure as fuck tell you guys when I'm loving the shit out of something. I still like this. The soundtrack in this game is fucking great. Like, holy shit. Like, that soundtrack that was playing during, honestly, when Mizuki's, like, Final Somnium, uh, and the freaking Miyumi one for certain, 
uh, the music and actually Iris's Final Song Meme 2 where it was like it start off the shrine theme and then it fucking kicks in. I was like, oh shit. Like, like it's super good. I want to give such a massive round of applause to the people who did the, the soundtrack for this game. But it always just kind of sucks. I never like to disappoint you guys, you know? I, I want us to all be like on the same page, like, yeah, this is the greatest shit ever, you know? So I, don't, I hope you don't think I take some kind of weird joy from like being like, ha yes, I don't, I don't like that thing that you love. Ha <laughs> no, it's the complete opposite. But again, I don't hate this game. I don't dislike this game. I just think it's okay for me personally at the time anyway maybe this will like completely change things as we sort of head into this but uh i am i do want to know what like the answers are for the main mystery which is why i said before when we got away from the fucking nizalots bullshit right and we got back into like talk about renju and pooter and oh by the way pooter yes pooter and renju were are, are together that was the that was what they were showing he gave him the watch right that that was his lover oh fuck didn't occur to me. Probably should have. Which is why he was even more serious about finding Renju's killer on this side, right? Gotcha. I like that, right? I like that shit. But when we get back into the mystery of it all, that's when I'm like, oh yeah, that's when I get the most engaged. All right, let's go ahead and hop into it. Uh, Jutai. So apparently this actually, according to you guys, would not have been locked until I had already completed pretty much every other route that's in this game. So uh, yeah, it's not just like, oh, I had to do the left the left one Iris ending before getting this. No, I actually had to do the left route of ours, uh, ours is ending and then get everything on the left side of the flow chart that I could before unlocking this. So, okay, cool. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, uh, oh, okay. I, I've not gone anywhere. Let's go. Okay, so Iris ran off, went back to the person that she trusts the most, which is Renju Jutai. Um, and it's seemingly dead. I don't know. Kind of pens does. Does Iba see it? Or is it my crazy brain? <laughs> it's my old pal, Kadaka. I'm going to guess this time everybody sees her. Have you settled down? The scene is being inspected without you. This time the body didn't disappear. However, you lost consciousness. I didn't expect you to faint. Seeing that corpse must have been incredibly shocking. I did not predict you to be the fainting type. I suppose humans are unpredictable. Now that you're back, let's get back to business. You are conscious, are you not? Are you at a loss for words? Date, don't let negative thoughts consume you. Come on! I was done like ten times now! Come on! Thinking that Iris died because of me. If I never took her to Ota's, this wouldn't have happened. If you truly believe that, then your brain is completely rotten. Or perhaps when you saw the corpse, your head became filled with images of blooming yellow dandelions. What? Oh, you're talking now. Was I correct? If you consider the situation logically, even an elementary school student would understand. Huh? Fine. Allow me to pluck some of those dandelions from your mind. I will ask three questions. Please answer honestly. First question. The cold storage warehouse was not in regular operation, but even so, the AC was on and a minus 58 degree temperature was maintained. Why is that? Uh, to preserve something, the warehouse is being used. Maybe the AC is broken. Ice cream? <laughs> ice cream to preserve something to preserve something yes let us move on to the next question second question there was something strange about the corpse do you remember what that was it was covered by cloth it was completely frozen it was missing its right eye it was hidden in the engine compartment i mean i feel like a lot of these are kind of could be you could count as that right missing its right eye that is a unique factor, but there was something else, something more peculiar. Okay. It was hidden in the engine compartment. The culprit was afraid that the body would be discovered, so they hid it under the hood. But why there? The ocean is right here. If they really wanted to hide the body, they could have put weights on it and sunk it into the water. 
But we do not know for certain that the culprit was attempting to dispose of the body. There is something more unusual. That wasn't it either? Fuck! <laughs> it was covered by cloth. What is unnatural about that? Isn't it strange? The culprit hid the body because they didn't want it to be found. But then they cover it with a cloth? That implies they thought that someone would eventually find it. I explained earlier. The body may not have been hidden by the culprit. And even if they were responsible, it is not uncommon that murderers feel a sudden urge of remorse or pity for their victim. So the cloth was a sign of pity? That is a possibility. Probably more for censorship there <laughs> than anything else, right? Like, like, it's just like, I don't know if we can get her at this angle and not, uh, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> not actually show something. Oh no. It's the fact that she's frozen and how could she be frozen when the, the warehouse wasn't that cold? Iris's body was completely frozen. The temperature read negative 58 with Iris's wait, weight. Wait, right? Yeah. Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? 105 pounds. I see. 105, huh? It should have taken about 18 hours to freeze solid, but we were... Wait a moment. Before you draw your conclusion, allow me to ask my final question. Question three. Two days ago, Sunday night, you found a dead body in the cold storage warehouse. But afterward, you visited the Sagan household and discovered that Iris was in fact still alive. Why? Uh, Iris is actually dead because I saved Iris' insomnium. You mean the corpse was a hallucination? You mean? You mean? You've got it. I bolted into the warehouse like I was shot out of a gun. So is that same body? right eye has been forcibly removed. It was the left eye for Shoko. I think it was actually the left eye that was removed for the, uh, for Iris in her ending, right? Wait. Yeah. It was the left eye there. Oh, I got something to the album. That's right. Iris A. Haha. <laughs> Shawshank Redemption. That one I know. Uh, <laughs> There's the Iris stuff. Is this the concept? This is what, what, what she could have looked like? Funny, I actually like this design better than this one. Yeah, I think I actually prefer this one on the right. Not sure why exactly, but corpse's right eye has been removed. X-ray. Uh. Boob. I don't believe it. The stomach is swollen slightly. She appears to have been pregnant. What? How? Do not worry. The uterus does not contain a fetus. You mean after she was killed? No. The fetus was not present in her body when she was killed. What? She must have been killed after giving birth. The distended stomach does not immediately shrink after birth. What in the... The expanded uterus takes some time to return to its normal size. This evidence makes one thing perfectly obvious. This corpse isn't Iris. It's someone else. Which means... Iris is still alive. What the fuck? She have like a twin or something? Not necessarily. She could be alive. We haven't confirmed that yet. <sighs> Multiple stab wounds with a single edged sharp object to the victim's back. Judging by the size and shape of the marks, the weapon was most likely a kitchen knife. Damn it, you eat. This matches what you said on Sunday. So this is the body I saw then. Okay. So it actually wasn't in his mind. That's... What? So who the fuck is this person? Is there an estimated time of death? Impossible to determine. This body has been completely frozen for at least 10 years. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I didn't even really think about that. Yeah, I guess if you froze the body for an extended period, right? It would be... It, yeah. It, I mean, you could just, it would, wouldn't deteriorate. Ten years? She was killed more than ten years ago? 
Well, I still feel like you'd probably get a freezer burn in a lot of ways, right? Like after a while, it would deteriorate in a different way, but whatever. Exactly. Her identity is unknown. Her killer is also unknown, but there is one likely suspect. Oh, the original Cyclops killer. Who? Let's consider the clues. The scene, Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Sunday night, we saw So here. And there is something else about So Sejima. We witnessed Ow. something similar to Iris oh. who was stabbed repeatedly in So Somnium. Ah. But it wasn't Iris. It was this woman. That is highly likely. What we saw was So's memory from more than 10 years ago. Is this like, like Iris's real mom or something? Like, is that, is like that what's going on here? Like, is Satomi not a real mom? I believe that is the case. Renju and So? But we still do not know where Renju is. That means that we need to talk to... So Sejima. A pitiful corpse. Slinger makes my chest hurt. Okay, back to So Sejima's residence. Mizuki and Oda kept searching for Iris, but unfortunately they didn't turn up anything. Iris' whereabouts are still unknown. I'm worried about her, but without any leads, we'd just be looking for her blindly. We should focus on the investigation for now. It'll eventually lead me to Iris, I'm sure of it. With that in mind, I head to So's mansion. I thought I told you. Out here feeding his dumb fish. Never to show your face here again. Question him. I didn't come here for Shoko today. I didn't come here for Iris either. Instead, I'm here for a girl who looks like Iris. Did you kill her? Date, look. I knew it. I fucking knew it. You killed her, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I've had enough of your shit, Congressman. Eat lead, asshole. You wanted to check on the body of the girl you killed. That's why you were at the cold storage warehouse two days ago. Where is Renju Okiura? You just kept him there for like 10 years? Good lord. You know where he is, don't you? You were at an Okiura fishery warehouse for a reason. There's definitely a connection between you two, and that's not all. Number 89 called your secretary. The same number 89 that Renju escaped with. Now tell me. Where is Renju? Suddenly, a gang of bodyguards stormed out of the, the mansion. And instantly, they surrounded me. All right. We'd like to ask you to please leave. I'd like to ask you all to fucking eat a dick. Boom. I shoot every one of their crosses off. Bah. Man, fuck that guy. <laughs> so I angrily drove off in my Mustang. Damn it, so. Damn it all to hell. There's nothing we can do. We did arrive without a warrant. We were technically trespassing. If he had called the police, we would be in a predicament. We would have been detained immediately. Who would look after Iris then? Do you intend to leave your responsibility with Mizuki and Ota? Ah. Calm down, Date. We still have our lead. Lead? Before I explain, we need to discuss the corpse in the cold storage warehouse. Let's get her a name. Because she is frozen solid, we could call her... <laughs> fuck you. Alice. What do you think? Fuck you, Iba. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck this game. I, I'm, I'm done with this shit. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> God, that coy asshole. God damn it. I'm so sick of this shit. That is probably the trolliest thing I've seen for Ruchikoshi yet. Iris. I believe it fits nicely. All right, Alice. What about her? Someone might be able to identify her. Who? Allow me to ask you three questions. Again with this? First question. You have seen this corpse more than twice. Three times, in fact. When was the first time? Uh, uh, the first time we saw the corpse. Three days ago, Saturday night. Two days ago, yesterday, earlier today. Uh, well, I'm gonna say three days ago. Three days ago. 
Saturday night when I sink to the abyss. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yes. that. In the Somnium world, we saw the frozen corpse of a girl. Question two. Who is the girl? Why was it in Mizuki Somnium? Uh... <laughs> Adrian? Adrian, a virus? Iris? I'm gonna go with Adrian. Adrian? Adrian! Adrian! <laughs> I like that one. Okay. Adrian! No, of course not. No, it was Adrian. Alice. Now I know. That girl was probably Alice. Most likely, yes. So we have technically known Alice for three days. One last thing. The final question. In which Somnium did we see Alice? Masuki. Adrian? Adrian! <laughs> Rocky! <laughs> Adrian! <laughs> Rocky! <laughs> but seriously, I am talking about the course. See, like, sometimes I feel like the, I mean, comedy's subjective, right? But I feel like sometimes when it, when it does get it, like, it hits it, when it's not doing dumb puns, right? It can knock that shit out of the fucking park. Like, holy shit, like, that shit was fucking hilarious. Adrian! Rocky! Like I had to continue the stupid, the stupid skit. Do you think you should be joking at a time like this? I think that's the other problem. Is like I think maybe it was because it was because she felt so pressured to include like fluff dollar for fucking everything. There's just too many bad jokes in my opinion, right? I think also the issue is maybe localization, right? Some of this shit might have been fucking hilarious in J Japanese, but in English when they're trying to localize it. And again, I'm not even, I'm not blaming the localization at all. All right, I. Lord, I couldn't fuck it. Nobody could make like a billion amazing puns for the English language, but it's just a bit rough, you know? Maybe they just cut it down a bit. I think it's, again, what, like, remember the Foon Yurimpa? Remember 999? That game had some funny moments, but it was really pretty damn serious most of the time, right? But the funny moments usually came when you're like searching, searching rooms and puzzles, and occasionally you just like throw some random shit in there. And it was, it hit you so hard in the gut how fucking funny it was. It's was usually some dumb Junpei shit, right? Because he was a dumb, horny, sarcastic jackass, just like every protagonist in Pichikoshi game. Yes, we should be joking. Okay, it was uh, Mizuki. My roommate, Mizuki Okiura. Exactly. You mentioned something about Mizuki Somnium being some kind of prophecy, but prophecies are nonsense. And so are you, Dante! Dreams are not made of the future. They are made from the past. Therefore... Adrian? No! Mizuki has seen Alice before. There is no other explanation. Aiba, where is Mizuki now? Where we went with Iris yesterday. Kume Shrine. So like, why did, but how did she see her as a fucking dead body? She actually saw her dead? Like that? The shrine, why would she be there? Unknown, she is supposed to be looking for Iris. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Go team, AI, horny, something. Date. Did you find Iris? If I did, I would have told you already. Right. I'm Azuki. What you doing? Iris used to like this shrine. She told me about all her memories here. We used to come here all the time. You know those steps in the front? We would sit there together and talk about things. No, no, we did that a couple of times too. Like what gluten free means and eyelash extensions and aerial yoga. And we would talk about all our problems together. Sometimes we would talk late into the night. So I thought that maybe she'd be here, but it looks like I was wrong. Where the fuck's Oda? I think he's searching Akihabara right now. Last time he checked in, he said he didn't have anything. God damn it, Oda. He's probably jacking off somewhere. Iris is with Renju. With Daddy? Yeah. Her note mentioned her most trusted person. That's probably Renju. Yeah. I remember that mermaid girl saying something like that. He was looking for Iris. <laughs> it just comes up for two. Does that mean that daddy is the one who called for Iris? <laughs> it took like, it took a little long to load. And then when it finally shows, it's like, she's looking for Iris. Okay, bye. It could be. 
so I need to know where he is. Where the fuck is he? But I haven't been able to get a hold of him. About all ice. Suzuki, I have something very important to ask you. Have you seen a half-naked Egyptian woman walking around? What? Oh, sorry. Wrong, wrong, wrong game. I told Masuki about a frozen corpse called Alice. You've seen her before, haven't you? Actually, I think about it. We haven't come across that one character that shows up in every Ichikoshi game, right? The scantily clad, super busty lady, but nobody says anything about it. I guess you maybe you can say the receptionist, but that's just like, that's just regular, right? That's not like Lotus or Alice fucking levels or even Clover levels of like, like what the fuck are you wearing? And why is nobody commenting on it? Like literally, you anyone remember Alice's costume from fucking virtue's last reward she literally has just a necklace covering her tits that's it she has like no shirt on it's just a necklace and nobody says anything all right lotus is dressed up like a belly dancer or something yeah i don't think we really had anybody with the outfit that ridiculous perception display is just just regular cleavage that's that's pretty basic all right that's basic by jacuzzi standards three days ago i saw her in your somnium the body of a girl who looks like iris alice your dreams are built from your memories so that corpse. Mizuki, please answer me. Iris's life is at stake. Huh? What do you mean? I told Mizuki everything. About how Renji ran off with the assassin at number 89. How 89 is connected to So Sejima. Alpha. Ah, and that Sejima is linked to Alice's murder. I need to know everything about Alice. If I find out who she is, I might be able to solve the mystery of Renju and number 89. It just seems sort of weird that, like, So would have been killing. I mean, yeah, it looks like, right, Iris, but she's wearing literally the same outfit as Iris, too, right? And that might lead me to Iris. Mizuki looked down at her feet quietly. I could see agony in her face. The silence lingered. Finally, she sealed herself, lifted her head, and spoke. Okay, I'll tell you about Alice. It was about a month ago. I saw my daddy crying in the president's office at Lemniscape. Oh, okay, only a month ago. I was peeking through a crack in the door so he didn't see me. Daddy got up, then got into his car and drove away. I had never seen him like that before. I was curious, so I followed him in a taxi. That led me to the cold storage warehouse. He got out of his car and went inside. I followed right behind him, quietly. Daddy was standing next to the forklift in the back. And he's like, hey, Mizuki, you wanna see a dead body? I hid behind a shelf. I watched Daddy open the hood of the forklift, and then after a little bit, he left. I wanted to know what he was looking at. I went over to the forklift, and I looked under the hood myself, and then... You saw Alice's dead body. Damn, Mizuki, why didn't you tell Not Daddy about that? D Not Daddy thought he was going crazy this whole time. But at the time, I thought it was Iris. Uh, why didn't you call the police? What was I supposed to do? Daddy would have been in trouble. So you kept quiet this whole time? Daddy found a dead person. Uh, what did, did you talk to Renju about it? What do you mean? I couldn't just ask. It would have changed everything. I thought that as long as I stayed quiet, everything would be okay. I didn't see a dead body. I wasn't even at the warehouse. I repeated that to myself over and over and tried to forget the whole thing. Repressed memories are often the subject of somnia. That's why Alice showed up during the sink. Hmm. Okay. What'd you do after that? The corpse looked exactly like Iris. I couldn't believe she was dead. I just couldn't. So I went to Iris's house. Huh? What's wrong, Mizuki? Iris was alive. I thought I was going crazy or dreaming. I tried to convince myself that it was just a hallucination. Yeah, me too. Yeah. About Okira Cold Storage Warehouse. I actually met with one of the higher-ups at Daddy's company last night, before I went to Matsushita Diner. Why? Because you asked about the cold storage. I was curious. I asked around some, and... 
Go on. I found out that Daddy was managing the warehouse before I was born. After my grandpa died, Daddy took over. In exchange for managing the warehouse, he gave ownership of the company to someone else. Why would they just keep this dead body just hanging out there for all these years, right? Like, like what the hell are they doing? I guess he didn't want to let this place go. It's like, man, I just, this just seemed like a great place to keep a dead body, right? I mean, the ocean's right there, but that's nah, fine. I'll just stick it here. Or maybe he couldn't let it go. That's more accurate. <laughs> no, nobody opens up these things anyway, right? But I understand why. Inside that warehouse was... Alice. On paper, Daddy has nothing to do with Okiura Fishery. Daddy was still managing the warehouse. And he was the only one allowed in there, too. That was part of the agreement when he gave up the company. And the whole thing had to be a secret. He really stressed that point. How long was he managing the warehouse? Nemizuki, how long was he managing the warehouse? For 18 years. That's what the man told me. 18 years? 18 years! From that long ago? Yes. Iba, I need an emergency search. Missing persons from 18 years ago. Understood. Huh? Date, I found her. Damn, was fast. The girl who looks like Iris. What's her name? Monica EY. 19 years old at the time of her disappearance. Monica EY. She got a baby. A graduate of a Toku High School. What? I'm sorry, wait. Did we say 19? Damn, she was uh, pregnant very young. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Mm. Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. Alice's... Monica... God, I forgot about that conversation. It's Tomi's friend who went to the same school as her and Renju. So clearly she must be I, uh, Iris's real mother, right? But why? Monica's body was found just now. But even back then, Hitomi knew. She knew that Monica was already dead. Hmm. Iba, where is Hitomi right now? At headquarters for questioning. MPD still believes that the body they discovered was Iris. Got it. Got it. Contact boss. Have them bring Hitomi to Abyss. It's just like this weird conspiracy going on. Like, everyone's in on this shit, all right? Except us. Roger that. All right. Bye, Mizuki. Yeah, Dante! Bye! Dante, give me a left home, you asshole! We're back. You're awfully calm. You saw the corpse of your daughter today. You were called into the station to confirm her identity. And yet here you are, cool as a cucumber, even though you lost your precious daughter. Shall I guess why? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. How could she say so, mother of uncom? When Monaco was murdered, where was she was found, her autopsy report, information about her. Let's look. Her name is EY Monica. She has been missing for 18 years. She was 19 years old at the time she went missing. Monica, Hitomi Sagan, and Renju Okiura all attended a Toku High School. Jetta, baby. Because that body isn't Iris, and you know it. Are you serious? Yes. Her name is Monica Ewai. She was killed when she was 19. She went to the same high school as you, and she was your best friend. Isn't that right? Nothing to say for yourself? Hiding something? Maybe you killed her with Renju. That's ridiculous. Oh, now you're talking. But we know Renju committed a crime. Illegally disposing of a body. And we can prove it. <laughs> where she was found. The cold storage warehouse where the body was found. It's been managed by Renju Okiura for almost two decades now. And witness testimony proves that he knew about the corpse there. And if I'm not mistaken, you knew about the corpse too, Hitomi. You and Renju have been close since high school. 
it's not too much of a stretch to think that he told you about the body. And I remember you telling me once. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. How did you know that she was dead? I didn't. Don't play dumb. I know you're hiding something. I mean, to be fair, she, I mean, by that point, she'd been gone for so many years, right? It could also be a fair assumption on some, that person's part to just be like, she's, yeah, she's probably not still alive. Unless she's in hiding somewhere. You know what happened 18 years ago. But fuck that. And you knew she was pregnant. You were her best friend. Of course you would have known. Tell me. Tell me everything. Tell me! Dante, she's not going to talk. Sick. Sink with her. Yeah, sink the fuck with her. Yeah. I'm gonna sink you so silly. Nobody ever wants to talk. Damn it. Date, I'm sure I've told you enough times by now, but please come back within six minutes. Shut up, Pooter. You fucking like tased me earlier. I can't promise you that, Pewter. What do you mean? I mean, I'm not coming back until I find something. Dante, you can't. I gotta find every fucking eyeball, all right? I need all those bonus pictures. Don't stop me, boss. Why not? You know why. Because it will take over my consciousness? Yes. But if it's only a little. No, not even a little. Can I just like step back out and come back in again to refresh? If the sink passes the critical point, the damage will be irreparable. But what does that mean exactly? Tell me. Are you two hiding something? No. I'm not hiding anything. Then let's try it. Let's experiment with my mind. Then we'll know for sure what'll happen. Ugh, fine. I'll just say it. Yeah? Pewter, tell him. Get me? You know more about it than I do. <sighs> well... God damn it. What happens after six minutes? Well, first off, six minutes is not a hard limit. It could be seven or even eight. I don't care about the exact time. I'm asking what happens if you go beyond the limit. Do you remember the story I told you about the egg? Yeah, why? If you imagine an egg as your consciousness, the yolk is what goes into the subject's brain. The white remains inside your shell. If you go beyond the limit, your yolk will not be able to return to its shell. Because the subject's mind will start to take over the sinker's consciousness, right? I know that part already. Indeed. But there's more to it. After the yolk is devoured, the egg white is brought through the machine next. Huh? And there's more. It's not just the sinker's brain. The same process eventually occurs in the subjects as well. In other words, the entire egg ends up being replaced. Mind, consciousness, memory, they are traded. Switched. You mean like some Freaky Friday? as a memory limit. One brain can only hold one consciousness, and it can only contain one person's memories. Now you know everything. Talk to the boss. Hmm. Why'd you get a secret? I was unaware of this as well. This information is not on any accessible databases. We had to prevent the possibility that the system could be exploited. Exploited? But even if it wasn't you, someone else might try. We didn't tell any sinkers this, including you. A project sink is a top secret project. It's a matter of national security. Even sinkers are on a need to know basis. Think about it. What if you were kidnapped by bad people who tried to make you talk? Bad people? A criminal organization, spies from another country, those people. If you blabbed about project sink, the entire country might be at risk. We might all start swapping bodies or something. You heard it from Pewter. The sink machine isn't just for entering a person's somnium. It can also be used to swap bodies between two people. Hmm. 
Okay. So, what? how does that tie into other stuff here? I had this seemingly the Somnium, right? Of Prisoner 89. Does that suggest that we switch bodies, perhaps? I mean, he was saying, right, that he was the original Cyclops killer. But I feel like that doesn't sit quite right either, right? Because they... He still has his memories, right? Where he was meeting Hitomi and that all lines up. That's him. So it's like, so why did I see it? Why did I see that in my head? Did I sync with him at some point and stay too long and I just got maybe some of his shit stuck in my brain? I still think it's a good chance that uh, my theory, again, that if, I feel like I've had been gone for quite a while now, that, that Dante was the original Cyclops killer. But they did something to him. Something maybe with it syncing with his brain and it, it like flipped it around or something. Imagine what this machine would be used for in the wrong hands. That's why I didn't tell you. Body swap. We can't let this secret get out. Man, can we just put it back again? <laughs> we'll swap and then we just get back and swap it again. Swapping bodies between two people? Trading minds? Yoink. All right. We've chloroformed, uh... Hitomi, so, you know. Are you listening to me? Shut up. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay, you Barry, you signed the waiver, right? We always have to sign the waiver. Are you really okay? I'm fine. Start it. Understood. Let us begin. Okay, what are we gonna be dealing with now? What in the fuck is oh, uh, it's just uh, it's just Iba. Up Iba's skirt. God. God. I am the god of fire. I am the god of hellfire. I burn erotic books with my flames of red hot anger. Ah! I how ruthless. Ow. Are you okay? Dead. That hurt. I'll let you read this porno mag if it'll make you feel better. I will burn it. The fog is making it pitch black. It's dark and dank in here. The light over there. Is that a firefly? <laughs> Somnium scan. Activate. <laughs> scan. I still can't see shit. All right. One. Two. I see somebody over there. Three. Only three? No, four. Okay. Reveal the hidden secrets. Reveal Satomi's secret. Bear it deep inside. It's like I'm playing Slender Man. It disappeared? No, wait. It might still be nearby. Okay, flower bud. That is all that's here. A flower bud. I cannot identify the variety. Worship smell. Figure out the type. Figure out type. I cannot identify the type of flower in this state. Let me guess. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw out a completely random shot here and say it's a fucking winter iris. It appears to be some kind of lily. A flower. Uh, smell or worship? Worship? I don't know why worship. Worship it? Yeah. I will pray to it as though I am mourning the dead. Um. Ooh, xylophones. It bloomed a little? 
I don't know what caused it, but it's better than nothing happening. Okay. One down. <laughs> Lit it up! Um, hole in tree, rock one, rock two, rock three are out there in the fucking darkness. Okay, let's go to the hole in tree. That is, I wish I could tell what direction I'm facing here. Oh, I can see, hey, I see the eyeball right there. Yoink. What? So tell me B. I am cold and alone. Uh, schoolgirl Atomi and schoolgirl, or er, boy Renju. Yeah, schoolgirl Dimitri. Okay. Rock three. A rock. Kick, worship the rock, investigate lift. You lift it? Do what? Just try. Understood. <laughs> Well, did you find anything? No, of course not. Okay. God damn it. It's, uh, gonna be a little hard to. Well, what the fuck? Where am I now? Oh, that was rock three. God, I went. I ran way past that. Okay. Oh, you kind of see him on the map, can't you? Yeah. You can see the words. All right, hole in tree. A hole in a tree. I may be able to fit inside. Um, scream, tackle, stick hand in, peek inside. I cannot see anything. It is unnaturally dark. Did you notice anything? I did hear the faint sound of the wind. It must be hollow on the inside. Walk in or not. A hole in Stick hand in. I am not going to be eaten or anything, right? I don't know. Whoa! Whee! Ow! I fell, but I am still in the forest. It's darker than before. What? Is someone there? That voice is... Find out where that voice is coming from. Renju. I see some light. Oh, yep. Renju. Uh, hole in tree, rock two. Rock three. There he is. Renju Okiura. Talk to him, inspect him, flirt with him, hit him. Inspect him. He looks young. But this is definitely Renju Okiura as he appeared approximately 20 years ago. That's a long time ago. Talk to him. Renju, what are you doing in a place like this? He won't answer. Not in a place like this, at least. Renju. Uh. Flirt with him. Yoohoo, Renju. Come get some of this. Oh, fuck. Come on! Sorry, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Don't apologize. This is Renju's fault for having bad taste. I'm a kitty cat! Alright, cool. I'm wasting a lot of time. Renju. Hit him? This is for neglecting your responsibility to Mizuki, you coward. <laughs> Damn, he definitely dodged no that. No use. I can't hit him. This Renju is still a teenager. He wouldn't know Mizuki yet. Okay, none of those things worked. Renju. Huh. Uh. Oh, there's a hole. There's a second hole in a tree. Fuck. Hole in tree two. Uh. There it is. Oh, that's a very tiny hole. A hole in the tree. It looks about as big around as a soccer ball. Stick hand in, scream, peek inside. Okay, just, just stick your hand in there. I am not going to be sucked in, am I? Probably. That's strange. It should have worked. Did you want to see me get sucked in? Yeah. Fuck. 
wasting a shit ton of time. Uh, peek inside. I cannot see anything. It is unnaturally dark. Anything else? I do not see anywhere that air could be flowing from. Okay. A hole in the tr Scream. The Emperor is naked! Okay. What about the Empress, though? The Empress is naked! Sounds like my kind of empire. Let's move there. I don't see anything. Nor do I. This is good. Making oh, good progress. Goodness. Tackle. Understood. I will do my best. Uh. Oh. This is a picture of Hitomi, Renju, and Monica. Everyone is so young. Hold on to that. Okay, cool. Okay, maybe I gotta show the picture to Renju? Renju? Yes. Renju, look at this. What the hell is this shit? Okay, bye! Wait! Mine! Renju, stop! I shook him! Okay. You have less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. Uh, hole one. Hello. What is this hole? It wasn't here earlier. Jump the fuck in. Really? Yeah, go ahead. Understood. Cannibal! <laughs> oh boy. Ah, oh, dead. Even more difficult to see now. Another voice? Monica! That's Hitomi's voice. Where is she? Look for her. Okay. Hole in tree three. She's actually not on the map. So let's go with hole in tree three then. Uh there it is. Another hole in a tree. About as big as a capybara, I estimate. Those are pretty big. Uh, well, we've done peek inside. It's probably gonna be dark. We've done a tackle, so let's try to scream. Hitomi! Date likes Hitomi! Hey, what are you trying to say? Hitomi won't remember this sink, but still. Oh. Hitomi stopped. <laughs> ah! Okay, that was progress. Good. Okay, she's over. One minute left. Oh, boy. Rocks on that side. Oh, I, I see why the rocks are here. I think they're not actually... I don't think they're there to be examined. They're there to give you markers to help you figure out where to look. So the rock is to my right here. So tell me would then be... Straight over... Here. Yeah, there she is. If you're too far away, the words actually don't show up. That's Hitomi. Uh, touch her, talk to her, inspect her, hug her. I'm not getting many, uh, timeies this time. Hitomi? Hmm, I see. Well? She dresses modestly, but underneath she has a curvaceous body. Good work, Iba. That's good to know. Tell me more. Don't stop. Do it again. Uh, touch her, talk to her, touch her. Well, um, you could, you know, touch her... But in this Somnium, she might be a minor. Her stomach. Test how soft her stomach is. If you say so. Boop! Whoa. I touched it. So, what's the softness situation? Tell me! Tell me! It was soft. Nice and pliant. No noticeable abdominal muscles. Valuable information indeed. Thank you, Iba. <laughs> you old pervert. <laughs> you old 30-year-old pervert. That's Hitomi. Okay. Uh talk to her. Hitomi, what are you doing here? Guess she can't hear you. She looks like she's looking for something. God damn it. That's Hitomi. Ah. Uh. 
Is there something else here? Hole in tree three. Is this a different one? Or is that the one I came from? I don't even remember. I think that was the one I came from. Yeah, yeah. Inspect? Hitomi. Hitomi Sagan. Like Renju, this must have been approximately 20 years ago. Something must have happened around that time. Yeah, I'm about out of time. Time's up. Okay, maybe one of these rocks actually has something for me then. Or maybe this is a different hole in the tree. Date, we damn it. Damn it, we fucking fucked. Alright. Alright, I used so much time on that, so I'm just gonna start from the beginning. I'm not really getting any negative time ease at least, but also not really getting any positive ones either. It's kind of like a very very little timey. Meaning this is very uh little chance to make mistakes in this one. Oh, okay. I can actually do something else. So I screamed in the tree, now I can stick my hand in it. I won't get sucked in, right? Hmm? A cord bracelet has appeared on my wrist. Perhaps it belongs to someone. It might be important. Hold on to it. Okay, I'm guessing I show that to Atomi then. Wherever the fuck she is. Uh, show bracelet. Do you remember this? She's gonna run away now. Wait! Follow her! On it! <laughs> Alright. Now is it Monica's turn? Okay, hole two. A large hole. If there is nothing left to do. Ah. Date, what is going on? I don't know. It's pitch black. I can't see anything. I see. Then it is not me malfunctioning. Can you feel your way around? I can try. I can see the words at least. And there's loosely some fireflies. Cluster Amaryllis. Ow, fuck. Yeah. Let the lights guide your way. Ow. A lycoris flower. Um. Grab. Dig up. Investigate. Worship. Worship again? Nothing is happening. That's to be expected, but still disappointing. Worked last time. A Lycoris. Uh. You have less than two grab. Minutes, Date. Hurry. I feel a little awkward, but. It's useless. The roots must be strong. It won't budge. Okay. A Lycoris. Uh, dig okay. up. Let's do it. What? Uh oh. Whoa! Another hole. A large. One hundred twenty seconds. Come this far. I will not protest now. Huh? Did I win? I died. That is... Monica fucking dead. Ah, I didn't get the, uh, the bonus thing for less time, though, because of, uh, I probably, I, I should have got it, saved a timey or something, but there really weren't many timeys in this one. Oh, well. Corpse flower. Ah, damage. Who'd, who'd you kill? What, what have you done? 
Oh, you don't tell me, Renju. Oh, they do accidentally kill their friend? Cockeye. Their pregnant friend? Damn. It told me. I think I know what happened 18 years ago. You three were close. You, Monica, and Renju. Monica was murdered. You and Renju found the body in the mountains. Ah. And you brought it back to the cold storage warehouse. And my guess is so Sejima killed Monica. I've seen inside his head before, using this machine. I see. If you know that much, then there's no point in hiding it anymore. I'll tell you the truth. Hmm. Okay. Sounds like the so so Se Sejima was maybe just like a psycho as well, right? And maybe his son, seemingly Date, was maybe raised to be like him. If my theory again is in any way right, eighteen years ago. Wait, you're going to see So? Oh, I'm gonna tell me now! Yes. I want to talk to him in person. No, you can't. Why not? So the father? Are you worried about my body? You don't have to worry about that. I'm totally fine. But your stomach is still... Oh, my doctor told me that's normal. Your stomach doesn't go down right away after giving birth. I'm not worried about your body. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. So doesn't care about you. And especially not your child. I haven't told him about giving birth. He contacted me for the first time in a while. So that's why. He wants to know about the baby. He must be panicking. If anyone ever finds out his mistress had his baby, his political career would be over. Holy fuck. Does that mean then... Iris and Dante would be half siblings or some shit. So we're going with here. It's not like it was an affair. His wife passed away after giving birth to his son, right? Ah, uh, his son. It would still be a big scandal. He impregnated a girl who just graduated high school. Don't you see how that looks? He knew how the public would take it. That's why he gave you the money to deal with it. There's no way he'll accept that child. It's okay. I told him that I won't cause any trouble. But could you take care of the baby? Just for a little bit? I'll be right back. Fine. But take this with you, just in case. A gun. Oh, chip. It's a GPS transmitter. Just to be extra safe. I really don't think I'll need it. But okay, if it'll make you feel better. I don't know what Monica saw in So. She said he was kind and loyal. That he wanted to change Japan. Oh, he's really a fucking psycho. But I didn't understand any of it. We tried to convince her to break up with him so many times. She never listened. And it ended in tragedy. What happened next, you already know. Neither Renju or I saw it happen. So I don't know how much of this is accurate. But we could guess what happened. Yeah, I still looked old as fuck back then. Saying it wasn't so? Uh, 
Who told you this? Renju told me. But you said he wasn't there. He heard some of this from the Kumakuras. Renju had connections with them. How did the Kumakuras know? So told them. Bawanaka's killer. Date. You said that Monica was killed by So, right? But that's not true. Monica was killed by Saito Sejima, the son of So and his late wife. Oh. Ah! Uh oh. Saito was 12 at the time. 12? Yes. Mmm. Yeah. I'm totally right. It is. Saito Sejima is who he is, really, right? He's really so son, and he totally is the original Cyclops killer. But why would a little boy do that? I don't know. I can't imagine. But then who's been going around killing everybody else then, right? Was it so? If it wasn't actually... I fi figured, oh, dad's a psycho. He makes his kid a psycho or something. But if it actually wasn't him, then who the hell's been doing it now? Unless so's like, ah, fuck it, I'm gonna do it too. I mean, it, it looked like it was pretty clear that he did do it in some of the other routes, right? That so was the one, the new one going around. Uh, what did so say to Monica? He told her to move overseas. He said he'd pay for everything. Well, I'm dead for Monica's murder. So contacted his friend, the chairman of the Kumakuras. He asked him to dispose of the body and left the scene with Saito. The incident was 18 years ago. That means the chairman was Rohan, not Moma. Oh, well, there you go. There, and there you go, right? And Date's 30, right? Right. 18 years ago, 12 years old. All matches up. Yep. It was him. I and mean, by this point, we already had the, you know, the the hint from uh So, or not even hint, he just straight up said, You're my son. Ha <laughs> ha. Rohan went to the scene of the crime? Yes, with some of his men. Again. Neither Renju or I saw this. We were just waiting at my house for Monica to return. But she never came back. We tried to call her cell, but it didn't connect. But then, we saw movement on the GPS. The GPS Renju gave to Monica? Yes. At first, we thought she was on her way home. But we saw the GPS getting further and further away from the city. Renju and I got nervous, and we decided to follow it. What about the baby? We couldn't take the baby with us, so Renju gave the baby to the mob doctor he trusted. Those are Kumakura men. We didn't dare move. We couldn't speak. We were barely breathing. We could only watch as it all unfolded. I knew what the hole was for, but I couldn't move. Couldn't do anything. I remember my heart beating so fast before long. We good here? Yeah, cover her. Just a minute. Oh, he took her eye out. Yeah. Ew! Oh, with his bare hands. This weird baby hands. Beautiful. Yeah. Takes a bite out of it. Ah. Gross. <laughs> Crazy pants. The Makura people covered Monica's body, then left. Renju and I ran over and dug up the grave with a tree branch. What? We saw. Jesus. We need to. We need to call the police. 
No, we can't. Not yet. Why not? You don't know who those guys are. They would do anything to keep this hidden. I've seen it happen myself. I know what they're capable of. Anyway, think about it. Why would they do this? They thought Monica and her baby were going to be trouble. Monica's stomach was still pretty big. I don't think they know that she gave birth already. What do you think they'd do if they found out? They would take her and kill her too. And then... They'd come for us. They'd make it look like we disappeared. All of us would be... Gone. Renju convinced me. He knew more about the dirty underbelly of society than anyone. He knew when something couldn't be handled by the police. He said that they would do anything to kill the child. And I believed him. We had to protect Monica's baby. Protect the child! We had to. No matter what. Okay. I understand. I decided to trust him. We couldn't leave Monica's body in the forest. We cleaned her up. And took her to the cold storage warehouse. This warehouse is owned by Okiura Fishery. My father runs it. But it's not in use right now. They're moving operations to a better area. They're actually looking for buyers right now. But don't worry. I'll take over the warehouse. Are you sure? Yes. Don't worry. Why keep the body like this, though? I'll keep everyone out. Everyone but you, of course. Is it precaution or something? Like... I'll give you a key. You can come visit any time you want to see Monica. I mean... Ugh. Yes, come see your your dead friend missing their eye, frozen naked in the warehouse. That will surely make you feel better. Monica, don't worry about the baby. I'll protect her, no matter what. And don't worry about them, either. The people who did this to you, I will never forgive them. I'm sorry, Monica. Sorry. I'm sorry. Monica. Hmm. So I guess so must have known about it too, huh? Cause it cause he went there at some point, right? Brought the body out to look at it and uh left the warehouse, right? But who then who put it back then? Who put it back in the forklift after he left? Was it Renju? Did you get the birth certificate? The mob doctor took care of everything. I have the birth certificate, and I even picked up a mother and baby book. It wasn't cheap, but you don't have to worry about it. Just submit the birth certificate, and everything will be taken care of. You look worried. I feel like... I'm somehow betraying Monica. She was the one who gave birth. Soon, you won't even be able to think about that, because a war is about to begin. A war? Between you and the baby. You won't get a good night's sleep for a long time. You might even start to resent Monica for all this. Really? Anyway, as soon as you submit the certificate, you will officially be her mother. <laughs> I should know. I'm a deadbeat dad myself. Or will be. Be sure to raise her responsibly. I'll help. Occasionally. But I'm garbage at this. Occasionally, huh? Uh, what should we name her? I was thinking about her name. How about Iris? That's dumb. Let's call her Aset. Iris? The goddess of rainbows in Greek mythology and the colored part of your eye. And the flower, too. Right. And eyes. Eyes, 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 eyes. I thought it might have something to do with your name, Hitomi. <laughs> Not only that, it's also for Monica's name. The kanji for Monica uses the character for love. And Monica reminds me of Monaco, Japanese for I. So both names have something to do with the I. And I, which means love, will always be a part of Iris. So that's how you came up with the name? 
Don't you think it's nice? It's pronounced A-I, Hatomi. Get it right. Iris. Iris. Yeah. I really like it. But Monica's killer. I don't really want to discuss this, but... There's something you need to know. After talking to the Kumakura gang, I found out who killed Monica. So's son, Saito Sejima. How? Saito was only... Twelve years old. Why? Why would a little boy do that? Because he's fucking crazy! I don't know the motive, but I know it's true. So used his connections with the Kumakuras to cover up for his son. And all of the evidence of this scandal, of course. I'll never forgive them. So, his son, or the Kumakuras. I feel the same way. But you can't think about revenge now. You and the baby can't lead a life like that. <laughs> Just bear with it for now. The opportunity will come. So wait until the right moment. Okay? And so my life with Iris began. Raising a child was much harder than I expected. Waking up in the middle of the night to change diapers or feed her, Iris wasn't a good sleeper. I had to sing her lullabies to put her to sleep, and I always needed to put her to bed so carefully. It would only take 10 seconds before she'd start crying again, so I had to pick her up, sing her another lullaby, then put her back to bed. After doing this over and over, before I knew it, the morning sun would creep in through the windows, but even with all that, I cherished every single day. My hatred for those responsible never went away, but my hands were full, raising Iris. I devoted myself to her. I never thought about anything else. And later that same dude comes over and fucking shoots the shit out of you. God damn. Just can't get away from these guys. Eventually, my desire for revenge just faded away. Mama! Mama! Woof! Woof! Nick. <laughs> Almost. Mommy, I won race today. Is mommy proud of me? Mommy, I want to see Milky Moon again. Mommy, you are so good at dancing. Milky Moon? Mommy, pancakes are done. Sorry, I burned it a little. Mommy, why can't I dance at the stores? I can't help it. My body dances on its own. Mommy... Don't more people come to barbecues? How come it's always you and me? Aww. Hey, Mommy. How long will it take my bone to get better? I want to dance again with everybody. Hey, Mommy! Do you like my shirt? Oh, we're matching! Mommy, thank you for everything! I love you more than anything in the whole wide world! Aww. Mommy, look! I drew it! <laughs> the Okonomiyaki War, huh? That was so fun! We should do it again! The food or the food fight? Um... Oh! I'm gonna have to say no to the latter, sweetie. It took forever to clean. But Uncle said he wants to do it again, too! <laughs> hey, Mommy! Yes? Are you gonna marry him? What? What are you talking about? He's a fucking jail, honey! As long as it's uncle, I'm all for it! I say go for it! Connect four. I would always question myself. Could I keep living a lie? I had promised Monica that I would avenge her. But I couldn't work up the courage. And maybe Renju was exaggerating. But there's no statute of limitations for murder in Japan. If we showed Monica's body to the police, so would be punished by the law. And the Sejimas and Kumakura's crimes would be uncovered. But that would mean... Iris' secret would be uncovered as well. That's what I was really worried about. So just like waiting for the right time or something? But wouldn't you also be like... Implicated because you're essentially hiding a dead body for all these years? I didn't want Iris to know that So was her father. And even more than that. I didn't want her to know that I'm not her real mother. That's the real reason I've been silent for 18 years. 
I didn't want to lose Iris. But... Fate can be cruel. God used other means to take Iris from me. Like a polar bear! In January, Iris suddenly collapsed. It was caused by a malignant tumor in her brain. There's nothing we can do. She only has a year to live at most. That's what the doctor said. If you remember me telling you. But what I didn't tell you is that there was an experimental new treatment. It was... Sinking? Some of the cutting-edge nanomachines can even go inside your body and cure illnesses. Ah. They can even cure cancer. And they go beep, beep, beep. That's what mom said. Nanomachines. Nanomachines, son. Nanomachines could remove the tumor. <laughs> We're really far season of that. Nanomachines, son. <laughs> what? Nothing. But the procedure would be so expensive. With my salary... It wasn't something I could afford. Only Kojima could afford that shit. I thought hard about it. About how I could get my hands on that kind of money. But I couldn't think of a solution. Time passed. Before I knew it, it was November. Iris's symptoms worsened. Her time was running out. I was starting to panic. I couldn't sit here and waste time while Iris... In any case, I had to get the money. Before it was too late. So I thought of a plan. A plan to blackmail Sol Tsujima. Ah. I know what you did 18 years ago. Two days ago, on Saturday night, I called So and invited him to come to the warehouse. He agreed to come. After I hinted at what happened 18 years ago, I had prepared everything. Ah. Hiding behind the forklift until So came. When he finally arrived, He walked over to the workbench, where I had laid Monica's body. He lifted the cloth and looked down. Uh. He whimpered and stumbled back. Even he was phased, seeing a body he thought he got rid of 18 years ago. Not to mention it was the body of a woman he was in a relationship with. A woman his own son killed. He reacted exactly as I expected he would. I had prepared a recording and sent it to his phone. Hello, this is Zero. If you want to fuck it, people fucking know what you did. Blah, 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 blah. I know what happened 18 years ago. Everything. I know who did it, and I know she had a baby inside her. You can probably guess what I'm going to say next. Be prepared to pay for my silence. I will tell you the exact amount later. And then we just really hoped that uh, uh, So wouldn't grab the body, take it with him, and run out the door, and then get rid of it another way. <laughs> and we go, oh. <laughs> Ma'am, you said you had a dead body to show us? Yeah, I did. Um, I didn't really think that far ahead. <laughs> and don't tell anyone about this. Don't grab that body and get out of here. Not Saisho, not the Kumakuras. If you do anything even remotely suspect, I will go to the press with the truth. Understand? I mean, I guess you could say... I told him to keep quiet and cut ties with the Kumakuras. You say, well, she still tell him about it, but the body is the actual physical evidence. Otherwise, it could just be a rumor. And it sounds like this guy is powerful enough where he could just quell that shit if he wanted to, right? I mean, I would think. Even if he found out who I was, without the Kumakura gang, he had no power over me. And there's no way he'd risk his political career not to go after me. I saw So put his phone back into his pocket and run out of the warehouse. I came out of my hiding place to put Monica's body back, but then something unexpected happened. I showed up. And I went, ah! I saw you, Date. I hid behind the forklift before you saw me. And when you were done looking around... Uh, it can't be. Yeah! Uh, I 
Iris. Just as Iva conveniently got herself shut off, right? I was losing consciousness. My head felt fuzzy. Couldn't gather my thoughts. Didn't know what to say. Too many things. Duh, duh. Too much exposition. Duh. Instead, Iva did the talking. Iris is not Hitomi's daughter. But Iris's father is Sosajima. So that actually means that Date and Iris are technically half siblings. Ah, freaky. Her mother. Monica Iwai was killed 18 years ago by So's son, Saito. Saito. However, Hitomi raised Iris since she was a baby. <laughs> I like it. Hitomi showed unwavering love and compassion for her. I like my eye there. I saw a picture. It showed me the same video feed that I'm actually looking at right now of Hitomi. But Hitomi, this Hitomi, not the Hitomi over here, is doing the same thing. Just as much as her biological mother would have, if not more. No. Yes, so tell me, good mom. Iris's tumor was discovered in January of this year. Yeah, she did hide up a dead body. The only possible treatment was experimental nanotechnology. However, that treatment is restrictively expensive. Hitomi devised a plan to blackmail Sosajima for the money. The best way to establish the blackmail was to show him proof directly. That is why Hitomi created the scene with the corpse. She was the one who called So to the warehouse. I feel like a picture probably would have been just as uh, effective, but I guess it could have been like, ah, Photoshop. On Sunday night, what Date saw was what Hitomi had prepared for So. That is the summary of what we have learned so far. But there are some things I have yet to understand. Date, pull yourself together. Ask her questions. Date, snap out of it. How did I have a call for me? It came to. Uh, why did Rowan remove her eye? I'm sorry. I have no idea. Did she tell Renju about blackmailing so? No, I did not. All of this was my idea. Continuing Sunday's events. I probably don't have to ask, but let me just be sure. After I left the warehouse, what did you do? I put Monica's body back under the hood of the forklift. Then I left. So I guess the cops that went in there after hearing the dead body report didn't search like every inch of the warehouse anywhere. I guess they were just like, well, I mean, he said it was sitting right here on the thing. I guess we could look around the warehouse, maybe even check inside this thing. But nah, I mean, I mean, I know, right? Like, why would you assume inside the fucking hood of it? But if you had a reported by a if you had a body report, right, I would kind of think they would at least try to go out of their way to look for it. But Whatever, it's it's not that big a deal. That, makes sense. That's that is a weird place to put it, but... On the scene. But, you know, I mean, come on, you're a fucking cop, right? Just look around the thing. I don't know, maybe you need specifically keys to open that thing up? I have no idea. I don't, I don't know, no forklift. Facts. Iris did not resurrect. You simply mistook Monica for Iris. The body did not disappear. Hitomi moved it. Those were the events at the warehouse Sunday night. Simple. Summarize. There are still a few loose ends, but I believe I understand what occurred 18 years ago. However, none of this ties directly back to Shoko Nadami. Her murder was just four days ago. Is it connected? Or are these two separate cases? If there is a connection, it would be with Renju and So. We can think about it later. More importantly. I hate it for the exit. Wait. Where are you going? To look for Iris, of course. But you have no idea where she is, right? Do you know something? Yes. At around four o'clock today, I received a phone call. I don't know who it was. They were using a voice modulator. What did they say? I have your daughter. Don't call the police or she dies. That's why I didn't tell you earlier. Renju. 
We don't know that for certain. It could be number 89. Either way, Iris is in danger right now. Listen to the rest. The voice asked for something else. He told me to go to a specified location with you. With me? Yes. The culprit knows me? It must be Renju. Hmm. Mm. What location? It's probably so then, right? I'm sorry, but this stops now. Ah, fuck! Date. Run! <laughs> ah, boss is dead. Boss! Please, do not worry. I merely put her to sleep. What are you doing? My orders. They told us to halt our investigation. The boss was already going against orders as it is. Which is why... Investigation? What investigation? Shoko or Iris? Neither. The investigation of Monica's murder. Monica? But her case has all but completely solved. Yes, but only to us, right? If we say nothing, then her investigation is ongoing. So Sejima. So threatened us, didn't he? I don't know. But you've been stripped of your authority on this investigation. You're off the case. As of five minutes ago. In fact, you are to be placed under house arrest. What will you do, Date? I suggest you comply. Date, look, there's a porto mac on Pooter's face. Holy fuck. I grab his face and pull it off. Holy shit. Ah, full savage. Don't give a fuck. Let's give this game its M rating. Isla, can you turn the power off? Easily. All right, get ready. Three, two, one. So he doesn't uh, activate Iba. No, okay. Oh, man, you think he would have uh, <laughs> would have thought to stop turn Iba off, right? All right, but you're going back in that locker. Bye. Now tell me. Tell me. Where is the location? I can't tell you. Why not? If I told you, you'd go alone, wouldn't you? But if I don't go with you. All right, take me there. Oh, here we go. Da 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 da. I know this place. It's the chemical plant that closed eight years ago. I knew that. How did I know that? Of course, my mom raking. Ah, oh, fuck. Different timelines. Not really. Date, I'm sorry, but this is going to be bad. What happened? Someone has begun to access my stored memory. Uh oh. They are attempting to wipe all the data. Everything I have accumulated over the last five years, including backups. Pewter. Damn it all. Is Pewter doing this? Almost definitely. He does have admin rights. I should have murdered his ass. I summoned some ice, but that will only buy time. I have four hours at the most. After my ice is broken, the computer will be able to access Watch It, my core program. He will be able to destroy my mind. Why? It must be related to the orders they are receiving from the top. The higher ups clearly see you as a threat, Dante. Yes, they should. They are attempting to limit your power by removing you from the equation. I suppose their motivation hardly matters now. The most important thing now is finding Iris and bringing her to Abyss within four hours. Or else, I will cease to exist. Date, what's wrong? Four hours is all I need. Nothing. Just... All right. Now you know. So get moving. I'm counting on you, Date. Four hours. It's fine. That should be plenty of time. Grab my revolver. I got moving. Oh. 
I'll go in first. You wait here. Okay. I wonder whose ending this is going to be. Tommy's ending? Oh, yes, this thing again. Is that. Uh oh. Renju, that you, dude? Did you get fucked up? Ah! Oh, got fucked. Again. Renju? Ah, fuck! Hey, what's up? It's your boy. Like my clothes? Oh, god damn it. You tell me? Oh, no. No! The case of Red's unsolved! Fuck you! Ah! Okay, that's gotta be what leads to the true ending, I bet, right? Because this seems like not all hope is lost. I mean, Renju's fucking dead, but Iris is still alive, right? Potentially, it could potentially be saved in this route. So I'm thinking this is where the true ending is going to go. But stopping me. Um, and now the other side will unlock, right? Boom. I don't know if uh, Hitomi was working with uh, the prisoner guy there or not. I wouldn't think so, but... Unlocked. Yeah. Okay. So I think the way this is going to go... So I think this is going to the true ending of the story. Um, And I think this one's going to go to like... We're going to find out all about Date, right? In his past, I bet. And maybe what Boss is trying to cover up. Because I think she is kind of like a part of this, like, seemingly this conspiracy. Um... But yeah, we're we're definitely getting there. Definitely getting there. Um, this was a lot better though. This actually, I was way more engaged this episode. Honestly, I'm, I'm more engaged this episode than I have been probably for the past like three or four episodes. Um, yeah, that was much better. I liked that a lot. See, so, like when we start actually focusing on the mystery and stuff, right? That's when it really like get, grabs a hold of me. And it's not like, I mean, it's not like we didn't have strong character moments, right? That's where a lot of this stuff was. And they, they, they didn't necessarily focus directly on the mystery. But again, I just, in my opinion, it was just a lot better. He handled a lot better than it was with Iris's stuff right here. So, but this is good. I I, I thought this was great. I had I, I thoroughly enjoyed this episode. So um, we're starting to get answers. And the answers are, I think, for the most part, pretty satisfying. There might be, like I said, there could probably argue a few things in there. But is it was a really a good idea to show, show the body and hope that he doesn't, like, run off with it. And again, like... That would have been your evidence. You could have just grabbed her and left. But again, I guess you could argue the news against him would still be enough to to push him. But I, I just think he seems like he's powerful enough to to control that shit, right? As long as there's not like physical evidence against him. But yeah, I am uh, I'm looking forward to seeing honestly this route, the route where everyone is fucking dead, and seeing what comes of that and exactly who has been killing everybody, right? That I really don't know then. Who has been killing everybody? Has, has it been so? But for what reason? Has it been boss? But for what reason? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and I am look forward to finding out. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you did, please do a like and a favorite and subscribe for an already become P Penguin. Aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.